Okay, so we're going to go to uh, our project here and go to File and Import. In fact, actually, we're going to keep this a little simpler. We're going to just stay in the video bin here. And just so the audio is visible in the same folder, um, we're going to just import one audio file. So we'll go to File, uh, Import, and we'll go into our footage folder, our interface old footage, and we're going to grab the, the first file here. Hopefully nobody's too offended by one uh, swear word. Um, so we're going to choose this first uh, track crazy shit and import that. And if we double click on the track we can play it through up in the source window. So it's just a short little guitar track. Not too crazy, no. No. <laughs> okay, so that's basically the, the track that we're going to edit to uh, for today. Um, and what we're looking for once we get it down to the timeline, um, editing some music, is really to use this as an opportunity to cut short clips um, together. Okay? So basically, if we uh, grab this um, audio, um, so when we're editing audio down to the timeline from up here, we can we can actually drag it straight from our project onto the timeline. Um, but if we drag it from up here in the source window, we have to drag the waveform from just below the, the audio track. Okay, and it will drag down to A1. Okay. And you can see it's longer than the video that I put there at the moment, so I can zoom out to kind of see it all. With the waveform uh, for audio, one thing you might want to do is see more of the track. And if you come to the the kind of side of the sequence timeline here, if we come between those two audio tracks, A1 and A2, there's like a very light gray line. We can drag that out to make that waveform a bit higher. So we can start to really see um, as we zoom in where the different beats are of that track. And that's where we can start to, to cut to so we can um, move start to move the clips around a bit more now the one thing that we don't want to do is break up this audio track so actually I'm gonna trim it at the beginning so it starts right on that uh, first note and pull that back and then I'm gonna use the the padlock um, over here to actually lock that audio track okay so now if we make any edits down to the timeline and um, then we can't break that audio track up so I'm just gonna give an example of why we would do that so if I place my playhead um, between these two clips and I come to another uh, video track here, so I'll grab this short title, step back a bit, okay. If I use uh, these um, insert or overwrite edits, in particular the insert um, one or the overwrite one, then it will insert my clip at this point and it will actually break the, the audio track at that point too. Okay, so that's one reason why we lock the audio track. Um, so these insert and overwrite edits, we probably wouldn't use them in this particular example. Um, if we use overwrite, it's actually going to delete the beginning of this clip. So overwrite will delete the beginning of that clip that was there before um, and won't move the, the track. So, um, But it also is overwriting that audio track. So if we lock it and we do an insert edit now, it will insert it but it won't overwrite the, the audio track. Okay. Um, if we drag a clip down to here, it's going to overwrite uh, that clip. Okay, so if I want to put this clip between the monsters, the action and the monsters clip that I had there before, um, then in order to make that happen on the Mac, I need to hold down command and you can see there's a like some little white teeth that kind of pop along the side there and that means that it's going to insert it there so it's going to push the timeline back okay so if I drag this down uh, from the video rather um, without holding down any shortcuts it's going to overwrite uh, the beginning of that monsters track 
um, if I hold down command it's going to insert it there so I can insert a clip there okay so the same thing uh, will work when we're moving clips around so if I want to move this fights clip back to the beginning here at the moment it's just going to overwrite that first clip but if I hold down command or control on the PC um, then it will insert it so it will shuffle those clips around so you can see if I drag this back here my timeline will shorten because I've moved that clip from the end but if I hold down command uh, my timeline will stay the same length because everything kind of juggles around okay and so I can move it back to the beginning or I can move it uh, between two other clips and we'll feel it snapping um, between those clips as well. Um, we can turn snapping on and off. At the moment, uh, the snap is turned on, this little magnet that's highlighted blue here. Um, and that means that when we come to an edit point, um, Final, uh, Final Cut, Premiere Pro is going to recognize that uh, it's actually going to wants to snap to that particular point. OK? You're probably going to hear me say Final Cut Pro a few times during this, uh, this course. OK. Um, if anyone is working on a Mac and they're thinking about which editing software to buy, Final Cut Pro at the moment works much better uh, for things like 4K footage and stuff like that. It works um, a lot faster than for rendering and for effects than Premiere Pro does. Um, if you're on a PC, then you can't have Final Cut Pro. So, All right, so we're going to edit some more clips down to the timeline. Um, just take a moment or two to look at how you can do those inserts, holding down Command um, or on the PC control um, and then I'm going to show you a couple of other shortcuts um, before I let you loose uh, on kind of putting this together with the audio.